What's going on guys, Cecil here. Welcome to mini apple trees. I mean, I know these are uh, berries or something like that, but I like to call them mini apple trees. It's much better. Now still show you how to breed horses in this game. So as you guys might already know, breeding horses is very important because you know, you will get more. Holy shit, the, the forest is on fire for no fucking reason. There is lava on the surface. I mean, I don't know how that works actually. Like the lava, how did it get here? Anyways, yeah, breeding horses is important because you will need a bunch of horses for some reason. You know, if, if your horse died, what the hell? There is no transportation now. So yeah, you will get, you will have a baby horse that will grow up someday so that, you know, after the horse dies, you will replace him. It's as simple as that. You know, it's exactly like a car. You have two cars, then they make a small car. So if the car explodes, you get its mini car when it grows up and that's your ride. I mean, you, you, you don't know. You don't know when the car is going to explode. So you got to have a backup. So yeah. Breeding horses is the most important thing you could possibly do in Minecraft. Forget eating, forget, you know, uh, having food or, you know, drinking or surviving at all. Forget trying not to die. You know, so breeding horses is the way to go. It's, it's, it's the number one priority, actually. As I have to do, I it is showing you how to breed horses in this game. So, yeah, let's to it. By the way, there are a bunch of trees here. I, I, I actually could tell that uh, trees breed as well, you know, uh, trees breed somehow, you know, uh, there's a lot of them. Alright, so the first thing we want to do is where to find horses. Now, obviously, I'm a creative, so I can, uh, you know, spawn a horse out of nowhere, but I don't want to do that. I want to show you where to find horses, where to look for them. So horses usually are found in plains or savannas. I'm not talking about the savanna, which is like in the song, Savannah oh nana. Another one is Havana, but that's a completely different story. The savanna basically is, you know, a large a plain area of grass that has very few trees. So obviously, this forest right here with a million trees in it, you will not find horses in here. You know, horses, in order for you to find a horse, you need to look for them in the plain or savannas, you know, in the plain grass, you know, saying a bunch of grass. I, I don't know how to properly say it in English, but I, I could I could say it in Arabic if you want, but I, I seriously doubt you understand. So I'm trying as much as possible. Exactly like this place right here, you know, a plain area with very few trees. Maybe there is a tree or two once in a while, something like that. And there's a bunch of grass all over a place. That's where you can find horses. Now, Basically, it's gonna be in a herd or something like that. You can find it like the herd always has the same color of horses, but I seriously doubt that matters much. Why would you care so much about the color of the horse? Matter? As you can see, we found a bunch of horses right here. So yeah, like I said, do not look for the horses in forest that has a bunch of trees all over a place. Like there are like a million trees or something. No, you will not find it there. It needs to be in a plain area like this, you know, with very few trees in it, and there is a bunch of grass all over a place. That's where to find the horse. And like I said. Uh, the herds always have the same color and the possibility of getting the color and the matching of the horse is random but the herd has the same color it doesn't give me extra points to realize that they breed it already i mean this mini horse obviously didn't just come out of nowhere he there there has to be a breeding that happened uh right now but uh, anyways i don't know what the fuck this sheep is doing here why is it hanging with horses that's not normal i mean it's it is kind of i don't know but th this sheep is you know extra friendly around these horses it seems like they are friends anyways let's get right into breeding the horses so what you will need is a lead if you don't know how to make a lead well let me show you real quick you put the strings like that and put the slime ball like that and there you go you got yourself a lead two leads actually that's even better anyways let's build a fence uh, actually i don't like that color i like the darker one let's build a fence real quick and uh yeah after we build the fence and uh, there is there is no suitable place for building a fence around here okay it doesn't matter we'll just use the lead to you know guide them somewhere next to each other there you go now now that we got them in case you don't no, in order for you to make them uh, go away from the lead you right click and to make them come with you with the lead you right click and so on so anyways here's the best way to actually make the horses breed first of all you will need a bunch of gold ingots and then go to the crafting table with the gold ingot place the gold ingot right here and you'll find the gold nuggets so uh, yeah holy shit that's a lot of gold nuggets i've wasted so much gold ingot but yeah okay now one gold ingot, uh, ingot actually translates or crafts into nine gold nuggets so don't turn everything into gold nuggets because that will give you a bunch of them also we're going to need a carrot now you can actually make them breed with regular carrots but you know uh, the golden carrot is gonna be super effective so it, it's much better to actually use a golden carrot than using a regular one now here's the thing if you use the golden carrot and try to feed it into a horse it will not eat it it will just refuse it why the hell is that because you didn't tame it so yeah you will need to tame the horse first in order for you to be able to feed it now in order for you to tame the horse you will need to get on its back and holy shit this horse is so easy 
You are so easy, Mr. Horse. You loved me immediately. If only girls were that simple in real life, man. You know, you just go talk to them and they fall in love with you and you live happily ever after. But uh, girls are so complicated. All right, we tamed the first horse. Now, where the hell is the second horse? I left it right here. It literally van... Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, let's just get the lead and go with it. Obviously, if you're using the lead in survival, it's gonna be a little bit harder. You know, you will need a bunch of leads because they break easily. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get into that. But anyways, yeah, there's the second horse. Let's try to tame this one as well. So yeah, let's see how long for... Okay, this one is a little bit harder than his friend over there uh it's much harder the, uh, the other person the other friend of yours actually got tamed immediately what the hell's the matter with you? you you literally look exactly like him you are identical why are you harder why are you hard can we tell oh there you go he fell in love now it's actually let's just set the time to uh, day now that we've tamed both horses what you want to do is to feed them the golden carrot so the first one we feed him golden carrot he fell in love second one we feed them golden carrot and that's it now they are interacting and there you go there's the little there, there's the little teensy pinsy pinsy kinsy tinsy little pony right here that, and look that he actually looks exactly like his parents that's a nice touch by minecraft i, I would have guessed that they would not really care much about that you find a completely different horse but no they actually care about uh, genetics and you know the genetics of parents actually matter in minecraft that's kind of cool he doesn't eat a golden carrot or actually he does but he doesn't exactly fall in love with you because you know he is the son of them so he is yours it doesn't really need to fall in love with you he will be so loyal he'll be more loyal to you than his parents that's one thing actually when you breed any any type of animal their uh, son is gonna be more loyal to you than his parents ever would be okay let's just get out of here anyways that's all about how to breed uh horses in this game hope finds with you helpful and yeah you can actually start your own horse farm you know you can get a bunch of horse and feed them all uh, golden carrots and make it um, you know everyone is with everyone and get a bunch of uh, tiny horses you don't even know who their parents are it's gonna be uh, hilarious but like i said breeding horses is the most important thing in minecraft forget about surviving so forget about everything it's just it's just about breeding horses that's the whole game is about it's it's the most important thing as yeah that's all about how to breed horses and micro five funds is you helpful i just said that but i'm gonna say it again i don't care but uh, yeah that's all thanks for see you guys live bye holy shit i have acne i've been like that the entire video oh my god wow look at how symmetrical they are they're exactly above my eyebrows that's awesome